Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm starting a new series and as you can tell from the title, it is my monthly favorites. I love watching these videos on YouTube. I think it's so interesting to see what kind of products people are loving and honestly, I end up trying a lot of the products that I have now from these types of videos. So maybe if you like something I'm using, you'll try it out too. But of course, before we get into it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and click subscribe if you love favorites videos. Before I get into my favorites for February though, I noticed that in a lot of my vlogs, I say that I'm trying products out for the first time and I'll see how it goes. And I never tell you guys how I actually end up liking those products. So to start this video off, I'm actually gonna do products I'm not liking right now. Products that I said I was going to try and I said I'd see how they went and I honestly really did not like them and will never repurchase. <laughs> All right, the first item that I will not be repurchasing is the Light Canola Oil Butter by Land O Lakes. I picked this up at Target. I just saw it on the shelf next to my normal butter, which is this exact butter, but the normal version, so not light. It has a red lid on it. And I saw this next to it. It has 50% less fat and calories. And I just thought, oh, like it's less calories. This is great. I should give it a try. Knowing full well that I do not like fake butter. I think fake butter tastes absolutely disgusting. I refuse to eat it. I can only eat real butter. So I don't even know why I bothered trying this. This literally tastes terrible. I guess if you like fake butter already, this might be a good option for you. I am literally going to throw out this entire container. I just think it's that disgusting. All right, the second item that I'm really not liking is this dairy-free oatmeal cookie flavored Halo Top ice cream. I've tried other Halo Tops before and I really like the mint chocolate chip one and I think a few others, but I really wanted to try a dairy-free ice cream so I decided to pick this up and oatmeal cookie like I like oatmeal cookies like that doesn't sound too bad right but honestly it just tastes really disgusting I don't know why I don't know if it's the coconut milk that it has in it or the fact that it's just dairy free and I've never tried a dairy free ice cream before maybe I just don't like dairy free ice cream in general but also the oatmeal cookie flavor was actually really really gross so Maybe try another flavor. I'm just really not recommending this oatmeal cookie flavor. And the last item I am not liking at all. I'm actually really disappointed about this. I really thought it would work out well, but it just does not work at all. And it is the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Purple Shampoo. I have been looking for a purple shampoo for a while and I just decided to give this a go. I saw that it was one of, honestly, the more reasonably priced options at Ulta. So I just went for it thinking that you know, probably any purple shampoo would work. No, this does not work at all. I've seen reviews saying that it does work. I don't know how it possibly could for these people's hair. I thought maybe I needed the conditioner to go with it, but you shouldn't need that because normally people just get a purple shampoo and that's the only thing they use and it usually works. So I just think that this does not work at all. Highly do not recommend Currently, I'm trying to just go through it because I hate wasting things and I'm just using it as regular shampoo. So that's where I'm at with this, looking for recommendations. Okay, now that I've gotten those things out of the way, I can finally jump into the things that I'm actually currently loving in February. So I'm going to start off with food products and this first product I literally saw everyone was using it everywhere and it was so highly reviewed i just had to try it and it is the everything but the bagel seasoning from trader joe's you guys those reviews out there do not lie this seasoning is literally amazing it just tastes so good if you love an everything bagel which actually is my favorite flavor of bagel you will definitely love this seasoning i put it on my avocado toast i put it on my chicken i put it on my vegetables i will literally put this stuff on like everything this seasoning is so Good, Trader Joe's just doesn't know how to mess up a seasoning. So I am a avid hot sauce lover. If you look in my pantry, I have like seven different kinds of hot sauces. And one of my favorites is Red Hot. And I was just searching the aisles next to the hot sauces, seeing if I should pick up anything new. And lo and behold, Red Hot comes out with a new sauce, Sweet Chili. You guys, this Sweet Chili Red Hot sauce is Seriously amazing. I don't usually like sweet things. I am really a savory person, but wow, this is so freaking 
good. I don't even know why. I'm over halfway through this bottle already and I like just got it. But this is literally great for everything. It's great for chicken, for vegetables, for any kind of meat. You can dip your egg rolls in it if you want to put it on some pad thai. I don't even know what you want to do with this. I highly recommend this for literally everything. All right, I don't know if I ever talked about that I was gonna try this, but I had been looking at a lot of those tea detoxes for a while and just realizing the ingredients in them and how I didn't wanna waste the money to buy this tea tox when really it was just kind of a green tea kind of mixture in the morning and a laxative tea at night, I decided to opt to just buy those teas separately. And so for a while, I was just drinking regular green tea in the morning, but as I did more and more research, I learned that matcha green tea was a great option. It's like even more saturated green tea. It has so many more health benefits. It's really just green tea times like 10. And so I'm like, oh, like what could go wrong? I should just go ahead and order some. Looking on Amazon, I saw all these packages that were like super duper small, like probably like things that were like one to five ounces. And I was like, oh, that's like no tea. What a freaking rip off. I was trying to look for the biggest bag possible. I have no idea why because I hadn't tried it yet. So I didn't know if I would like it. And I ended up finding a bag that is 16 ounces versus like three or whatever the norm was. And so I ordered that bag. Well guys, this is a huge amount of matcha green tea. When this came in the mail, I was honestly scared. I'm like, if I don't like this, this is the biggest waste I have ever bought. So I just went for it. I tried the green tea. I really hated it the first time I tried it, but as I had it more and more, it really grew on me and I learned the right way to really prepare it for myself. And if you guys want a whole review on like how I'm doing with like a, my own homemade tea tox kind of thing, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to do a full review on this product, but Currently, I am loving it. I learned how to make the tea the right way. And on the days that I do drink this in the morning, I feel like I am so much less bloated. So I feel like it does actually work, which makes me really happy. And it honestly just like makes my body feel so much better. So I am loving this tea. I highly recommend that if you're going like with green tea in the morning or doing some kind of tea talks, switch over to matcha tea because it is so good for you. All right, on to my beauty favorites. I am currently loving this perfume that Collins family got me for Christmas and it is the Daisy by Marc Jacobs. I feel like this is just like a classic scent and I love like a floral scented perfume. It just smells so freaking good and like the higher end the perfume just like the more excited I get because look at how beautiful this bottle is. Is this not the most beautiful perfume bottle you've ever seen? So as you probably noticed, I'm a little more tan than I usually am. And by a little bit more, I mean I went from like ghost to like just came home from the Bahamas. I am loving the Jergens Instant Sun. The video that I saw this review for, it was a girl that was basically as pale as I am naturally and she got it in deep bronze and so I just trusted her opinion and I went with it. I honestly would have been really upset if I got the light to medium and it honestly just like wasn't very tan and I would just feel like it was a waste of a product. If you have a similar skin tone to me, I highly recommend getting the deep bronze if you want a very bronzy look. This product is a mousse, so I apply this with a self tanning mint and I just do it all over my body and up my neck and then I stop there because it said not to use it on your face. It says that it dries in 60 seconds. I'd say it definitely does dry that fast but when you first put it on it definitely has like a little bit of a tacky sticky feeling but it definitely goes away after you sleep on it so I really like this I think it works really well it is basically as instant as it says it is and I think it delivers a perfect color so highly recommend using this self tanner and the reason that I bought this product in the first place is because self tanner can be so expensive like just stupid expensive and this one was a very reasonable price I think it was like $12 or something I think I got it from Target but you can honestly get it anywhere I'll link it down below I'll link everything down below don't even worry about it so the product that I found for my face so I could actually use myself tanner is the face by tan Lux. I saw this in a favorites video by Whitney Simmons and she just like really highly reviewed it I had actually never really thought of using self tanning oils or like drops. I just thought I had to find some like kind of cream or mousse that was just safe for your face. So after Whitney recommended this, I looked it up and it had amazing reviews, like seriously the best reviews I could ever find for a skin product. 
and it definitely was on a little bit of the pricier side and I was kind of scared to commit because I had never tried it before I didn't know if it would work for me if it was even gonna be the right color and so I did a little bit more research and I actually found this one this is actually the travel size this is not the full size and it was quite a bit cheaper so I decided to get this size just to make sure that I actually liked it before I committed to buying the full size this is what I'm using right now on my face so if you like this natural glow then I highly recommend using this product it works so well you just mix in a couple drops with your regular moisturizer that you use I use three drops in my moisturizer and I put it on about every other day but I think it works super well and I'm super happy about it and when I put it on at night this is like how I wake up just like glowing and tan and beautiful and if you buy these two products that I'm recommending, they honestly work so well together. Even though I got the face drops in a light medium, they actually pair super well with the deep bronze body mousse. Everyone has been talking about these all over the internet and I seriously fell in love the second I saw them. I just had to have them and no regrets. I got the Aloe Yoga Soft Leggings. Oh my goodness, are these the softest leggings I have ever touched in my entire life? I love this pattern. This is the blue that fades into a little bit of gray and pink and back down to gray at the bottom. I think they are super cute. They are high-waisted for all those girls who like their high-waisted leggings because that is totally me. I got them in a size medium, but because they are so soft, I feel like they do slip a little bit. So honestly, if you're buying these for the first time, I might size down from usual size just because they might slip a little bit if you are like using them in the gym and stuff. If you are just using these as a loungewear though, I would probably just recommend getting your normal size. And I also got the matching sports bra. Oops. Ever since I got these leggings, I am seriously in love with aloe yoga leggings now and I now have three pairs so I'm only a little bit obsessed but this soft collection is to die for highly recommend it has been snowing like crazy out here in Des Moines and living in an apartment complex they do not do a very good job of plowing the parking lot so I have to honestly walk through mounds of snow. So my favorite winter essential for February is these awesome Sperry boots. I can't remember exactly what style these are called, but I will link it down below. I have the all black ones. It's just like a black quilt here on the top, as you can see. And then it's just waterproof on the bottom, which is seriously the best part. I hate wearing super big clunky boots. And so the fact that these are actually like a booty style is seriously my favorite thing. And they're super waterproof and really, really cute. So I am loving these for winter. I highly recommend if you are in a snowy area or you're just looking for a stylish winter boot. All right, the last item that I have for you guys are these workout bands that I got on Amazon. Look at this color palette. These are like the most gorgeous resistance bands. I've ever seen in my life not gonna lie the color kind of sold me I was seriously debating between one of those non-slip resistance bands and rubber ones because people talk about how rubber ones do slip on your body a lot and I have had that issue in the past so I totally get it but honestly the non-slip ones that I was looking at just like it did not have the best reviews and I knew that these worked because I've used these type before so I just went for it it was a pack of four which I love so I have many options there's the light the medium, the heavy, and the extra heavy. But surprisingly, ever since I started using these, these actually have not rolled up on me or pinched me in any way the way that normal rubber ones do. I don't know if this is specifically these kind or if I'm just using them correctly. I don't know, but I am loving these resistance bands. They're such a cheap buy, and if you're looking for extra gym equipment or to like build your booty and stuff like that, I totally recommend getting your own booty bands and bringing them to the gym. I have been doing a lot of booty work at the gym lately and these have seriously helped me out. Okay guys, those are all of my favorite and not favorite items for February. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. And make sure to let me know if you like videos like this because I love making favorites videos, so I would love to do this again. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.